I'm Paul Heaney, Editorial Director for Design World, and we're here with another editorial roundtable. Joining me today, once again, Leslie Langnow, Natasha Townsend, and Miles Budimir, talking about their respective uh, niches. And uh, let's start with uh, fluid power, if you don't mind. I'd like to talk a little bit about, uh, there's a new sensor that was just released from PHD Incorporated. Uh, PHD is, is mostly known as a, a company that produces pneumatic components. This new sensor is called the Series KG Impact Sensor. So the KG actually attaches to any uh, piece of equipment that uses motion control, something that moves. So you attach this sensor on it. It has single axis bi-directional sensitivity, and it monitors the impact as this piece on the machine moves back and forth. A PLC can interpret the signal and warn of any uh, erratic operation, um, it can even shut down the system if it detects, you know, some sort of major failure. Uh, the sensor can be used for predictive maintenance or notifying personnel of machine crashes or errors, monitoring extreme vibration, and even detecting a change in the impact force. Now, I think this is a cool product because you could use it for, um, for benchmarking. Um, if you notice something is wrong with your system significantly, you can stop the system right then. Because if you don't and you, you discover down the road, you might have put out a lot of product that is, you know, out of kilter or not, you know, to the right precision. So I think it could save engineers a lot of money if they use this, uh, this new impact sensor. If you have uh, interest in more details, the PhD website is www.thdinc.com. So that's uh, a new interesting item in fluid power. What, what do we have going on in uh, 3D printing, Leslie, that you're going to uh, share? I'm going to focus on uh, the new merger developments that, that are going on in 3D printing. Stratasys and Object have completed their merger now, mm -hmm. so by the total company combined now has a market capitalization of around $3 billion. Wow, that's so now with at Stratasys, it's called Stratasys Limited, the new company. Mm -hmm. Now you have FDM technology, inkjet-based polyjet technology, and drop-on-demand thermoplastic inkjetting technology are all available through this company. Stratasys and Object seem to have uh, done this merger very well, mm -hmm. and they seem to be very organized and ready to go. The other big story that's been going on is 3D Systems. 3D Systems continues its strategy in acquisition, and they recently just announced an agreement to acquire Geomagic, Inc. Now, a couple of months ago, they acquired Rapid Form Technology, which has been a competitor mm -hmm. of Geomagic. So it's going to be interesting to see how this competition is going to play out under the umbrella of 3D Systems. Mm -hmm. But 3D Systems is still working at buying, and that's how it's increasing its stock price. A quick note, Ping Fu, who has been CEO of uh, Geomagic, she is now going to be the Chief Strategy Officer right. at 3D Systems. Very interesting. Cool. Oh, thanks, Leslie. Natasha, what's going on in the electrical world that you can share with us? Well, there have been um, trends in the future of energy management and these trends, I'm, gonna, I'm only going to touch on three of them, which are automated platforms, data storage clouds, and energy efficiency. Automated platforms, they come with intelligent alerts and modeling tools, are used for data collection. Installation of energy monitoring system evaluates and identifies machines' conditions, They're thus improving energy efficiency. And we're watching these trends to see how well energy management systems are going to improve businesses and organizations and how engineers can develop uh, these tools to help these businesses or organizations. By using data storage clouds, that will be able to monitor energy savings, and that is one of the most important steps in energy management systems. Making energy data as visible as possible or real has caused engineers to design and create technology, technological advanced systems. These advanced systems are allowing data to be uploaded into the data storage cloud. And primarily energy efficiency is something that everyone wants and needs. Mm -hmm. It is part of the energy management system. And this is because energy management systems have um, major areas needing energy management due to energy needs or demands from consumers. And these things come from automated systems, um, which need to be energy efficient. And it also consists of cutting wastage, reducing energy consumption, 
and being eco-friendly or green products that reduces carbon footprints. So we're watching the trends in energy management systems again to see how engineers are going to be developing these new tools for businesses and consumers. Sure. And you've actually been working on a feature article on this too, yes. right? So does that come in the what, February, March issue? Of it's going to be in the February, in the February issue, issue and there world. will be a blog being posted by, oh. possibly pretty soon, in a week. And where should the, <clears throat> they watch for that blog? That blog ought to be on testandmeasurementtips.com. Okay. Great. Okay. Thanks, Natasha. You're welcome. Miles, what about uh, motion control? I'm sure you've got some exciting uh, developments for us, too. <clears throat> Perfect segue into this. Um, uh, I'm going to talk about, very briefly, mm -hmm. uh, what I saw last year in 2012, the top five trends oh, in great. motion control. Not just in 2012, uh, but it, it seems like they're going to carry through into 2015. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect seg segue from what you were talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, first, uh, the return of manufacturing. I think that's that's a story that started to kind of uptick in 2012, Paul. I know you've covered it mm -hmm. uh, as well. You've written several, several pieces about it. Um, with the whole reshoring trend, sure. uh, I think that's going to be something that's going to be ongoing. Mm -hmm. uh, it kind of picked up some steam in 2012, and it's going to be another thing that we're going to be monitoring and watching here. Uh, second of all is uh, integration. Integration, uh, by that I mean motion control system companies, uh, suppliers offering more integrated solutions and packages. Uh, for instance, uh, Bosch Rexroth, I know, uh, they're basically offering you uh, the complete sure. motion control system, not just a motor, not just an actuator, the whole darn thing, everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, tracks down to the tiniest little sensor. They want to be your one source supplier. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and I'm seeing more and more companies do that. So so that's something that we're going to keep watching. Uh, Natasha, what you just said, energy efficiency. Energy, people are really interested about, um, you know, how much energy their systems are, are using, where they can, uh, how they can tweak that, how they can get motors that are that are, that are better, that use less energy. Um, fourth thing that I'm, I'm, that I'm seeing is this kind of marriage of, uh, motion control systems and vision systems. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, uh, in the past, systems would use different types of sensors. Uh, now the cameras are um, actually uh, some of the the, the, the processors are uh, becoming more powerful. They can they can process images better, uh, and you've got these really rugged industrial grade cameras. Uh, so more and more people are starting to put these into applications. Uh, so that's going to be something we're going to watch. Uh, and, a, and a fifth one, uh, which has kind of been going on for a while too, but uh, the hybrid vehicle market uh, I'm noticing is is using quite a bit more uh, motors, you know, some of these like pancake motors, so-called the very flat motors, uh, uh, also with uh, controllers and drives. Uh, so it looks like for drive manufacturers, motor motor uh, companies, it looks like that's going to be a market that uh, that's going to start to open up this year as well. So, uh, And you can read the... The full article on the tips, or not the tips, I'm sorry, but the top five storylines in Motion Control 2012 on motioncontroltips.com. So. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, great summary, and uh, we're looking forward to a great 2013. Until next time, Paul Heaney from Design World.